Good morning, Hillcrest. We are the Aleens, and we are going to read from Matthew 2 this morning and light the Advent candles. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped in the place where the child was. And when they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. This morning we are remembering the center of God's big story and his rescue plan for the whole world. The birth of Jesus, the incarnation. We are remembering the miracle God gave the world 2,000 years ago. Jesus, somehow God's own self and son, born as a baby, sleeping under the stars that he himself had made. This year in 2020, this part of the Christmas story reminds me that God's mission in the world is not stopped by anything. We hear in this scripture that at the same time as this miracle was happening, Herod is already plotting. He doesn't want another king in town, baby or not. The Magi head home a different way, and shortly after the birth, Mary and Joseph and Jesus flee to Egypt as refugees. This story is filled with the greatest joy that has ever come to the world but it isn't without brokenness. It feels the same as our celebration today. Today we gather virtually to celebrate this miracle. We are not shoulder to shoulder as we wish we could be. This year has held so much loss and also so much goodness. We have had to say goodbye to people that we love. We continue to lament the evil of racism in our country. Our lives have been changed painfully in so many ways by COVID. And somehow in the same year, we have found goodness. New precious babies born into our church family, new relationships. We haven't all worshiped together in person, but the masked, distanced check-ins that have occurred on the doorsteps of our homes are too many to count. We have held brokenness and beauty all at once, just as this Christmas story does. Our prayer for you this week is that we as a community can somehow hold all of the joyful and all of the hard parts of the Christmas story and what we are facing right now together and all at once. Let's pray. Dear God, we pray that um, soon we can um, go back to um, Hillcrest to worship you and when you came down to earth to save us from our sins and that soon there will be a vaccine for the, and this pandemic will be over and friends can have play dates and all those other things and we won't have to use Zoom as much although it's actually kind of good sometimes. But, um, and that just soon things will be back to normal and that we we'll all that we all can um, have a happy, healthy.
healthy Christmas. You are a king, God. Amen. Amen. Bye, Bye Hellcats. Bye. 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 That was really good, kids. We both.